changed the age of exploration. In the 1400s to the 1700s, many European countries had explorers who were brave and courageous in going to places that the Europeans had never been before. European explorers wanted to, try to find new places for three main reasons, God, gold and glory. They wanted to spread the news of God's love for others. They wanted to trade things and make money for their country. And lastly, they wanted to be brave and become famous for doing something new. Christopher Columbus! Why is Christopher Columbus famous? Christopher Columbus is famous because he sailed to America. He thought that America was India. In America, there's a holiday called Columbus Day. The first sailed on August 3rd, 1492. He had three ships named the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. The voyage took a while and it was very difficult. This poor man is Christian Congress. He was born in Turkey. In 1451, he died in Spain in 1506. Christian Columbus got married to Philip in 1479. He went to a school called Prince Henry School of Navigation. This is a model model of one of um, Christopher Columbus's Boats. He has three boats, the Nina and the, the Pinta and the Santa Maria. Christopher Columbus was born in 1451. He joined the Navy and had his ship sunk by pirates. In 1480, he sailed between Portugal and Iceland. In 1492, Christopher Columbus set sail on the Santa Maria and discovered the Bahamas. In 1498, Christopher Columbus traveled to North America again. In 1502, the King of Spain paid for Christopher Columbus to another voyage but he still didn't find a way to Asia or any treasure. In 1506, Christopher Columbus died in Spain. In 1460, Vasco da Gama was born. He was born in Sins, Portugal. In 1460, he was born in Sins, Portugal. In 1480, Vasco da Gama joined the Order of Santiago. In 1492, he started making voyages. In 1497, the king, the king wants Vasco to go around Africa on the trip to India. July the 8th, 1497, he and his, his nine boats set sail bound for India. March 1498. They land at Mozambique, but he forgot the supplies. April 1498. They are kicked out of Mozambique and continue on to India. But in August 1498, he has to go back to Europe. July 10, 1499. Vasco is known as a hero. In 1502, he goes back to India. In 1502... Um, Three, he retired from exploration. In 1524, he returned to India. But sadly, in December 24, 1524, Vasco da Gama died in Cochin, India, from getting <clears throat> malaria. Vasco was remembered because he was the first European to find an ocean trading route to India. Vasco left Portugal and went to India. First, he sailed to India and traded so pieces of gold for a hundred pieces of gold. He made Portugal very, very rich. First change up was caused is because Vasco da Gama stopped over in Mozambique. Lots of people speak Portuguese in Mozambique. The second one was that because Portugal and Spain made lots of voyages, lots of people across South America, the Caribbean, Africa, and Central America speak Spanish and Portuguese. The third one is that Vasco da Gama found to meet India by going around Africa and going around the Cape of Good Hope. Ferdinand Magellan! 
Ferdinand Magellan was born in Portugal in 1480. Ferdinand Magellan set sail from Spain in 1590, 500 years ago. He sailed on the South America and across the Pacific Ocean. On April 27th in 1521, Magellan died. By his spear in the war, the boss called Lapu Lapu didn't even let Magellan's crew take his body to bury him. Ferdinand Magellan was the first one to travel around the world and prove the world was round. That's why he, he is famous today. Ferdinand Magellan was born in Portugal in 1480 and died in the Philippines on April the 27th in 1521. When Ferdinand Magellan got married, he had three children and their names were Dot, A. Carlos, and Rodrigo. Magellan set sail in Europe on August the 10th in 1519. Magellan went under South America and went around the world and landed in the Philippines and got killed by a spear in his throat by Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu did the deal and let Magellan's crew take his body to bury up, but his crew did make it back to Portugal. But only some of the crew got sick and died. Only 18 crew made it back. Ferdinand Magellan proved that the world was round, and he found a new route to the Spice Islands. And because he went around the world, lots of people speak Spanish. Se hola, hola. Jean Barrett. I'm talking about Jean Barrett. Jean Barrett is a famous explorer. Her birth was July 27, 1740, and death August 5, 1807. Jean Barrett is a famous is from Autumn in France. Her name in her name in French French is Jean Barrett. In her early life, her father helped farming hogs. Her family was poor. She was the first woman to sail around the entire globe. Jean Barrett left France and then went on to South America. She passed away then went and went over New Holland slash Australia. After that she went under to Africa back to Europe. Jane Barrett because she was the first woman to go around the world. Her job was to collect things. She had to pretend that she was a boy because the French Navy did not allow women on the ships. In 2010, a newly discovered plant was named after her. Jane Barrett was the first woman to go around the world on a ship. She proved that women could go on a ship. Today, men and women are on ships. James Cook was born on October 27th, 1728, in Martin, England. He was killed by natives at the Hawaiian Islands on February the 14th, 1779. He was best known for exploring the South Pacific. James Cook was born on the 7th of November, 1728, in Martin, in the United Kingdom. James Cook joined the Navy in June 1755 to 1756, when he was about 18 years old. James Cook set sail on, 20, on the 26th of August, 1768. He made three voyages. James Cook died on the 14th of February 1779. James Cook's crew sailed west from Europe and were the first Europeans to visit New Zealand and the east coast of Australia. Of Captain Cook, people have put together a town called Captain Cook's Cottage, which is in Melbourne, and you can visit 
People have also smashed down his house from New South Wales, rebuilt it, and put it in Melbourne. There is a tower and a statue of the world in Melbourne called the Captain Cook Memorial, and a statue of him in Melbourne called the Captain Cook Statue. There is a university named after him. There's a primary school named after Captain Cook, and guess what? It is in Melbourne. James Cook sailed to Australia and made Aboriginal people wear English clothes. When he landed in Australia, he fought with the Aboriginal people. When he landed in New Zealand, he fought with the New Zealand people. When he landed in Tahiti, he fought with the Tahiti people. When he told England about Australia, England sent prisoners to Australia. We celebrate Australia Day on the 26th of January. Some people call it Invasion Day because some people are sad that a lot of Aboriginal people died. Positive and negative changes. The age of exploration caused many changes which have lasted till today. Some positive changes were known in technology being shared, languages being shared, things being traded, new places being explored and more people knowing about Jesus. Some negative changes were people losing their culture, diseases, fighting, death, slavery and greed. Change the age of exploration.